Man, I cannot wait for Lightfall to go ahead and already drop. All right, you guys, a lot of people's favorite heavy weapons, at least at the moment, are Linears, okay? Now, we know that Bungie is going to be giving Linears a bit of a knockdown, just a peg, just a little bit, right? It's nothing too crazy. It's only 15%, but it doesn't affect any of the exotic Linears. If you are trying to rock a sleeper a lot next season, you know, hey, do you think, do you think? But if you still want to use legendary Linear Fusion Rifles next season, I would say you are really going to be narrowing it down to mainly one at this point okay because out of all the linears that people use there's three that people use the most right you have the cataclysmic reese regret and then the tapon now what makes two out of those three linears really good is their origin trait vice stinger as it is right now in the game and how it will be for about 11 more days whenever it procs it refills your entire magazine which is awesome okay you combine that with the linear that already has access to things like triple tap you're eating especially because linears and their reserves will not be getting touched next season it's just their damage triple tap and four times the charm is still going to kick ass however vice stinger that perk is getting its balls clipped okay i'm sure most of you guys know this but in case you didn't vice stinger is going to be getting changed to where instead of reloading your entire magazine going into life fall whenever vice stinger procs then you're only going to be reloading a quarter of your mag 25 percent. that's huge okay that's really gonna hurt things like the tape on and the reach regret and i know my read sucks it's just there for example okay <laughs> so if you plan on using a linear steel going forward in your heavy slot there's only one true option in the game right now that you can go get and that would be the tarantula that zur is selling at the moment in the tower obviously i'm kidding because that thing is trash okay but seriously though the linear fusion rifle that i'm referring to is of course going to be the cataclysmic from the vow of the disciple ever since this gun came out it's literally Literally been top of its class. Bait and switch got a buff. I think it was in April when it got its damage buff making it the single best damage perk in the game and you can proc it by yourself you don't have to be near any teammates to have it go off you literally just got to tag the enemy with your other two weapons and you're good me personally bro i've been saving up a lot of rockets i really want to try and just mix it up a bit when lightfall does drop however i know some people definitely want to keep it simple still and just rock with the linears so they're still going to be a viable option don't get me wrong but with that big nerf coming to vice singer man you're really going to feel it if you are using the typon or the reeds and the cataclysmic is literally not going to have anything Thing about it touch that makes it so good other than the global linear fusion rifle nerf of 15 percent less damage to bosses many bosses and champions i also definitely want to get a couple windigos next week for lightfall with heavy grenade launchers getting a pretty nice respectable buff and it is nagi's always being there in the kinetic slot of course when lightfall does roll around there could be a really bussin banger linear fusion rifle right there that is just better than cataclysmic i don't know but right now if you're a big fan of linear fusion rifles the cataclysmic is the best one to get going forward